Hi guys, the next uh, rather odd car I've been asked to make on my little list here is by Mausumi Yasmin. Uh, they want a force and mechanism car. I don't know what that is, that's obviously something that the school calls some project or other. Uh, can use popsicle sticks rubber bands, duct tape and chocolate bar boxes. Well, popsicle sticks, if you've been watching the other videos I've done today, I found these lollipop sticks when I was tidying up, so I'll assume those are popsicle sticks. I'll use them as axles. Uh, rubber bands, yeah, got plenty of them. Duct tape, I have got some. I'm not sure if I'll need it. And chocolate bar boxes. Um, I don't have any chocolate bar boxes. I'm assuming it's a cardboard box of some sort. So the nearest thing I can find is this flying plane kit. That's a cardboard box and that looks about the size that you might get chocolate bar in I suppose I don't know um, there's no mention of wheels so I will assume that I'm supposed to make the wheels out of cardboard out of these cardboard boxes and I've got some cardboard wheels here that I made for another project quite a long time ago and if I cut up lots of these boxes and stuck them together, or used duct tape to stick them together, no doubt, I could make wheels this size, so I will go ahead and use these. Um, it doesn't tell me I can't. So that will be the body, those popsicle sticks will be the axles, those will be the wheels, and I've got plenty of rubber bands. I found a use for the duct tape. I've used it to strengthen the end of the cardboard box. And I've marked up where I'm going to push the holes through for the axles. I think they're terribly strong. They ought to do. Pencil sharpener, just to put a bit of a 
bevel on the ends so I can push them through the holes easier. That's a good tight fit. <laughs> Can't see what I'm doing. Before I fit them in place I'll cut a big slot in there so we can put the rubber band onto the axle. Well, there we are. Cardboard box, popsicle sticks for axles, cardboard wheels. I have added something. I've added little bits of drinking straw there. Just cut up short lengths so that the wheels don't rub against the chassis. And I've pushed a little hole in the front here so I can attach a rubber band. So it'll go round there, down there and round the axle. And we'll have a rubber band powered car. Rubber bands in place. So, we'd better go and test it. Test run time. Well, that seems to work. So, job done.